Contrary to the belief that Northern Nigeria is backward in development, it is very important to note that the North has some of the most essential facilities and developmental projects ongoing in Nigeria, one of which is the Bauchi Ultra Modern Bus Terminal and the Kaura City Project, all located in Bauchi State. The Bauchi State Government, in a bid to develop transport infrastructure, has actually sent out invitations for tender for the development of a modern bus terminal and commercial facilities under a land swap program in Bauchi Metropolis. The Bauchi State Government, in furtherance of its objectives towards urban renewal and based on a commitment to improving the quality of urban services, is offering and proposing to private developers and investors in, in the form of land swap for motor park locations within Bauchi Metropolis in exchange for new ultra modern bus terminals at three new strategic locations. The developer is expected to build the new bus terminals in exchange for the worth of land at the newly acquired site and have the old site developed into modern commercial facilities. The new bus terminals are to have the following components, bus and taxi sheds, conveniences, transit accommodations, vehicle service bay, restaurant and shops, while the commercial facilities at the old site shall consist of shops, conveniences and parking bays. In addition to the development of transport infrastructure in the state, the Bauchi State Government has also flagged off the construction of an 11 km dual road project in Ningi Town, Ningi Local Government Area of the state, worth 10.3 billion naira. The project is to be executed under the State Government Infrastructural Development Initiative aimed at enhancing economic development and improving the quality of life of the people. The contract was awarded in view of its strategic importance which serves as a gateway to the commercial city of Kano and other northern parts of the country. The construction of the project will also reduce the high rate of accident resulting to loss of lives and properties. In order to develop the city of Bauchi and make it the preferred destination for most northerners, the government of Bauchi state has constructed over 500 km of roads and drainages in the metropolis. Two major flyovers are currently being constructed within the metropolis, one at Wunti Market, Mortala Mohammed Way, and the other at Central Market, Gombe Road, to ease the congestion of traffic around the two busiest areas within the capital city. Over 200 kilometers of roads and drainages have also been constructed in Azari, Ningi, Jamare, and Misau. To further boost the economy of the state, the capacity of the Gubi Dam treatment plant has been expanded from 45 million to 75 million liters, supplying over 1 million Bauchi citizens with portable drinking water. The current government has also built over 2,500 housing units in Bauchi State. Schools and healthcare facilities were also rehabilitated. The Bauchi State government is also looking at creating an independent city of its own, known as the Kaura City Project. On February 25, 2021, the government of Bauchi State, alongside their counterpart from Bayesa State, flagged off the 4.8 billion naira new city called the Kaura City Project and a 2.8 km Tambari Bypass Road in Bauchi. The new city is being constructed under a public private partnership basis with an Abuja based construction and civil engineering company, KK Kingdom. The contractor for the project is also teaming up with the financier, Norembega, to deliver the project. The Bauchi state government is contributing the land under the land swap arrangement. KK Kingdom, being the contractor, will invest over 4.5 billion naira in the first instance to deliver top class service plots on 81 hectares of prime land, part of the inner southern bypass corridor, in exchange for right over a percentage of service plot. It is also noted that the state government is investing its resources in building 129 units of houses in the three arm zone while the company will also develop plots and build estates in the city which will be sold to individuals. The government is also supervising the contractors to complete the project in order to sell to interested buyers. The new Kaura city will have standard features and amenities including two filling stations, a farmer's market, a shopping mall, a school and a clinic. It is also going to be like the Palm Jumeiru in the United Arab Emirates or Eco Atlantic City in Lagos. It will be an entire city where you can find everything which will also be safe, secure and the state of the art innovation in the building sector. The idea is that the government will spend nothing but will create everything, create the roads which increase the value of the location and from selling it, pass it to its financiers, Norembega, to retrieve their money. 
One of the most important aspects of the project is that there is a part that has been set aside for government which the government intends to have as a sort of a new three-arm zone where it will have houses for the legislators, judges and other government officials. To sum it all, the government is actually changing the face of the area and make it a new frontier for public-private partnerships and also open up a new era of how places will be developed, especially in northern Nigeria. Going further, the government explained that the 2.8 km road project alone will cost over 1 billion naira. It will increase the value of the area. It will also make the place look modern. It is one of the most important things everyone needs, whether low-income earners, middle-income earners or high-income earners. And according to the investors, the road is coming to the state government free of charge. The good thing about the infrastructure is its impact on the masses because with construction, you hire laborers, you hire architects, and you engage engineers. Construction affects everyone because it trickles down. The 2,500 job projection is direct, and upon commencement of construction, job creation for the masses might scale up to 7,000. The Bauchi state government has also approved a 10-year development plan aimed at achieving sustainable development growth in all sectors of the state. The plan, which spans from 2024 to 2034, will focus on key areas such as healthcare, education, agriculture, infrastructure, youth and women development, and industrialization. The long-term plan is expected to address youth relentlessness by leveraging ICT and digital economic transformation as well as promoting inclusiveness in governance. Currently, the quality of infrastructural projects being embarked on in the state are all replicas of what the federal government is doing in the nation's capital, Abuja. Bauchi State, Christine on February 3, 1976, ranking fifth in surface area of Nigeria's constituent state, has experienced different paces of physical development, some fast, some solid, and some wobbly, and some stagnant. Politically, Bauchi is highly advanced, most unpredictable, and leads the pack with a resolute desire for change, for the betterment of its folks as the livelihood and sustenance of its citizens is borne by government and the hard work of its citizens. Economically, Bauchi State is among the poor states today considering its lower sources of internally generated revenue and poverty rate, though it is endowed with abundant arable land and many moribund factories. The resuscitation of these moribund companies can assist in grappling with the rising youth unemployment in the states. It would therefore be a very good idea for the government to declare a state of emergency in the agricultural sector and engage unemployed young men and women in both rainy and dry season farming. This might lead to the resuscitation of it neglected 65% of the state's arable land. Considering the fact that the state is also watered by many dams, water sources, including rivers, streams, lakes, clay soils, and dams. However, even with the challenges, Bauchi remains one of the fastest rising economies and promising states in Nigeria.